everybody. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Uh, be sure to like the video, share it with your friends and family. Really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos and yeah, just any other YouTube things that you can think to do to help me out. That would be great. So today is kind of a, a good a yay. Um, it's my final um, review. It's the second one out of two. Uh, it's sad because I just realized it's actually my final um, Disney like video in association with my vacation videos. The first video uh, that came out earlier this week was the overall Disney review. Uh, if you didn't see it, I will link it below. Uh, that one went on over um, everything else that wasn't food. So my experiences with my annual pass, the memory maker, uh, different transportation, some of the rides, attractions, fireworks, all that. This one is all the food, all of it, because we ate a lot. We ate at a bunch of different places. We were there 10 days, so I mean, that's a lot of different places to eat. Uh, I wrote it all down so I didn't miss anything. And I did manage to take a bunch of pictures of stuff, which I will be inserting in different places um, along the way. I didn't take pictures of everything, so there will be a few pictures missing. Um, I will try to uh, indicate when I don't have pictures, if I could remember. I, I didn't, at the time of recording, I don't quite have them all gathered up quite yet. So to start out with, um, I, I don't necessarily have them in any particular order, but the one I do have at the very beginning is the first night that we were there. Here we went to Rainforest Cafe, which was at Disney Springs. Uh, we meal shared, so there were three of us, so we did two appetizers. And we didn't take pictures, it was our first night there, we were super tired from traveling, didn't even occur to us to take pictures, video, anything. Um, can't actually even remember what we had. I think we got like chicken quesadillas and whatever, just some sort of like platter that had several things on it. I don't know, but we had two items off the appetizers. We didn't get our annual pass discount because it was on appetizers. They do uh, annual pass discounts, but you have to do it on an entree. So if we would have gotten an entree, we would have gotten our annual pass discount. Food with Rainforest Cafe was good for what I can remember. Um, it was just, we were tired, we were hungry, so I think at that point any food would have been good. A tip, I guess, um, if you eat at Disney Springs, we went about the dinner rush time. So there were people all over the place. Every single dinner place was super busy, so we went there's like a main entryway and then there was like the bar uh, entry and we went through the bar because as adults you can go there and there's not supposed to be kids um, like allowed in the bar area so it's quieter it's more private but it is sat outside and it is sat on the water so it was colder out there but we didn't really care we wanted to sit we wanted to eat that's what we wanted um, to go in through the main way I think it was like a 30 minute wait and we waited maybe two minutes um, to sit uh, at the bar area. So, or at the outside bar. Uh, and then it didn't take very long. I think it took maybe 15 minutes to get uh, our food and stuff. And then we did get kind of heat every so often when the, the volcano erupted and then the heat off of that warmed us up a little bit. So the food there was good. We ate there the first time we uh, went to Disney as well, so Rainforest Cafe is a, a good bet every time um, we had no issues with it. So I, I would recommend it to anybody. Another place we ate at was Richter's at Universal, because one of the, the second day we went to Universal, Universal for Harry Potter World. Uh, Richter's of course isn't in Harry Potter World, it's outside of that. And I split a burger and fries with my mom. and. I do have a picture of this that I'll insert somewhere, but I don't have a receipt. I thought I did. I thought I took a picture of it, um, but it's a burger and fries. Uh, we had a freezy as well that we split and like a, a glass of water. Uh, 
it was a burger and fries it it's kind of hard to mess that up uh, i don't remember it being like phenomenal by any means but it wasn't terrible either again we were really ready for food and uh it tasted pretty amazing considering we were really hungry and then um the freezy was probably the best part out of that meal but i mean it was just our regular cheeseburger and fries and then later that same day we had butterbeer ice cream which um was amazing i've had regular like the frozen butterbeer which was too rich for me but the ice cream uh that's how i would eat my butterbeer every time uh, we shared one cup between three of us and we couldn't finish it even with the one cup between three people and it was awesome and cheap since we split it between three of us so i the ice cream would have been like ice cream is the best way to go if you have tried the frozen butter beer and it was too rich do the ice cream it was it was phenomenal um we did be our guest breakfast and dinner so breakfast we meal shared uh it was incredibly expensive um uh, we did two um breakfast i guess platters so they're 25 dollars a piece and if we would have each gotten a platter for ourselves that would have been 25 dollars a piece or 75 dollars altogether and that was a lot of money that I don't know that just seemed like a lot and instead we decided to meal share and get two platters for the three of us and split the cost of $50 because they also gave us a, a pastry tray that was complimentary so you get one tray per table so we did feast all the guests on and a croissant donut and the croissant donut was very much smaller than the Feast of Gaston, but still $25. There's, I mean, it was just straight $25 per plate. So you could either get a much larger meal, $25, or one croissant donut, $25. They're really, I don't know, I'm not sure if the prices made sense to me. They just, it seemed expensive. So it was much cheaper to meal share, and then that's what we ended up doing, and it it made it worth it a little bit in the long run but the feast of the guest on was just your normal like scrambled eggs a biscuit um i i have a picture that i'll put up here but it was just kind of your classic breakfast so it was i don't know i the breakfast didn't it wasn't all that great um it was just kind of your classic fare um, I mean, it tasted okay, but for the price that it was, it it's not something we would go back to do. Um, I, I wasn't all that impressed breakfast-wise. Uh, we did other breakfasts that were way better than Be Our Guest breakfast. The Be Our Guest dinner was much bigger of a hit with us than the breakfast. Um, I got pan-seared chicken breast. Uh, that was $27.00. Uh, I didn't meal share because the portion size was quite large. Uh, I almost couldn't finish it by myself. The The chicken was set on top of like a bed of rice and you know some vegetables and stuff. It was delicious. Uh, $27 and just to like think back on it, $27 for a portion that was almost too big. The chicken was delicious. It wasn't dry. Um, the vegetables were amazing, the mushroom and the mushroom sauce was delicious, and that was two dollars more than like the smaller serving of croissant donut that we had for breakfast. I mean, the, the pricing was uh, odd, I don't know. Um, and then I did share the gray stuff with my mom, and that was five dollars. Um, the gray stuff was disappointing. I had the gray stuff uh, at Disneyland and that was so much better than the gray stuff at Disney World. Um, Disneyland did it so much better. I I don't know, the the gray stuff that was at Disney World is like a a cheesecake almost. It was, it was bland. It didn't really have a taste and I don't know, like the chocolate kind of overrode all the other flavors and just made it sort of a bland chocolate taste and that didn't 
I don't know, that made me feel like that's not what it was supposed to taste like. And with everything else that they said was supposed to be in it, I tasted nothing but chocolate. And that's, I don't know, it was super disappointing. Um, my best friend got like a strawberry shortcake cupcake thing, and that was delicious. And the gray stuff that, you know, Be Our Guest is supposed to be famous for was bland. So I, I was highly disappointed with that. We ate at Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. And this one was just sort of a, we needed to eat. So that was the closest place. Uh, so we just popped in real fast. Uh, I shared beef nachos with my mom. And the nachos were $12.49. Uh, we were so hungry at that point that we forgot to take pictures of them until we'd already um, like demolished most of them and then we were like, ah, pictures, forgot. Uh, the nachos weren't that great. My mom and I were not impressed with them. Uh, the chips were super soggy and then the, uh, like all the toppings and stuff, we were like digging around trying to find non-soggy chips. And then by the time that we could find a non-soggy chip, uh, my appetite was kind of gone because Putting a soggy chip in your mouth just makes you feel mm, yuck kind of thing. So I just like, as soon as I got a soggy chip in my mouth, I was suddenly just so very not hungry when before I felt like I could gnaw my arm off. Um, so I just was not impressed with the nachos. Uh, they looked really good, but as soon as you went to eat them, I was not impressed with them. Um, so twelve dollars and fifty cents and the portion size was probably big for one person it was perfect for a sharing and between my mom and I we barely ate half of them because um, both of us were having the same soggy chip problem Ohana breakfast which is at the Polynesian uh, resort so you meet Mickey Pluto Stitch and Lilo uh, we got welcome bread and a um, breakfast kind of platter I guess which you share between the table uh, you pay per person so while you do meal like you share the platter you do pay per person it's $34 uh, per person and we got um, uh, per like our annual pass discount which was 10% uh, I do have pictures of that that I'll I'll put up in the corner somewhere so the welcome bread was actually pretty tasty the I didn't think I was gonna like it because there's coconut in it and I hate coconut and it was actually really good so it's like a Hawaiian coconut bread and I do have a picture of that as well that I'll put up there and it was it was very good so each table gets one um, like square or something of the of the welcome bread to start and then you get drinks and then they bring out the platter of food which has like Mickey waffles and sausage and biscuits and scrambled eggs and I mean the food was very very good we were very impressed with the food uh, the overall experience though was incredibly rushed um, I think before before we even got our drinks uh, Mickey came through and then I think by the time that we got we got our drinks then I think Pluto came through and then or Lilo came through like some somebody else came through and then we finally got the food and we had just started serving ourselves when I think either the other like Lilo or Pluto came through whoever before so before we could even serve our food three characters had gone through and then Stitch was the last one and we were so like high strung about putting food in our mouth that we were just kind of sitting there and waiting and then here comes Stitch so before we could even attempt to eat all four characters had gone through and then as soon as all four characters go through past your table the servers start coming up and going is there anything else I can get for you you know kind of start trying to rush you out and we had barely even served the food from the platter to our plates so I think by the time all four of them got by and the server started coming to kind of like try to rush us out, all three of us had maybe taken three or four bites of our food. 
I mean, we barely got started with breakfast before they're starting to push us out. So it was an incredibly rushed, um, like high anxiety, uh, like experience. It was just, it was too stressful. It was too rushed. It was, it was all of, just kind of awful. Um, I, I get that it's a very, very high turnover. Um, I, the numbers that I was hearing were outrageous. I mean, it's like a stupid number, like 1300 people that go through each day or every hour or whatever. I mean, it was a dumb number and I get that they have to rush you out because of such high numbers, but I, I couldn't function with that. Like it was too much stress. Um, it's, I want to be laid back and to feel like I got some sort of connection or time with the character. I mean, it was pretty much, they came to the table, they signed your book real quick, a couple pictures and they're out. I mean, 30 seconds at the table and then they're gone. And then you go to take a drink or try to scoop food again and then here comes the next one and then sign your book, a couple pictures and then they're gone. And then, okay, I'm gonna try to scoop more food. And then the next, I mean, it was, it was terrible. I mean, it, it was just way too rushed. I would give it another chance. Maybe it was just our time frame that we went was a, an incredibly busy time frame, but um, it it was incredibly rushed. Uh, for the price and the food, I would give it another chance. But for the experience that I had, I'd give it a lower rating, I guess. And character experiences aren't like I don't rate them on the food I I would rate them more on the character experience and that one gets a low rating even though the food and the price was really good if if that makes sense we ate at Satuli Canteen at Animal Kingdom and my mom and I shared the cheeseburger pods which were ten dollars and ninety nine cents and I have a picture of those that I'll put up they were weird looking but they were very tasty uh, they have homemade like vegetable chip um, things that are, come with them instead of french fries and they were delicious. Uh, they're different colors and they look really weird but they were very tasty. Uh, the cheeseburger pods, they don't look like they would taste very good but they are very very tasty. Um, I would definitely get those again. Um, Satuli Canteen was set up quite nicely. Uh, it was a nice place to get out of the sun. Not that it was all that hot, um, but it was just a nice place to sit, relax, kind of chill out for a bit before going back out into the park. Um, again, it was one of those things that uh, we needed to kind of eat and we needed food. Uh, it's really very easy to forget to eat. Uh, you get going so much and then suddenly your body just starts to droop and you're starting not to feel good Your head starts to hurt, you know, whatever and then suddenly it's like ah, It's been a really long time since I've eaten. I need to I need to do that um, So for us, it, it was really easy to forget to eat and then we would pretty much run ourselves until our tank was empty and then Be like oh, we need to we need to eat now so it made it to where it almost didn't matter what we ate. It tasted fantastic because we just needed to eat something. But those cheeseburger pods were fantastic. It looked crazy and it looked like they weren't going to taste very good, but they were surprisingly good. At one point we went back to Disney Springs and ate at Blaze Pizza. I will recommend this to anybody and everybody uh, until I have no breath left. That pizza was delicious and it is super cheap. Um, the picture I have was, we didn't think about taking a picture until we had almost eaten half the pizza. Uh, I meal shared with my mom and we got a one topping pizza that cost $8.45. And then with two drinks, I think the whole thing cost less than $15. It is legitimately the cheapest like full meal that you could buy on Disney property. Uh, I got an annual pass discount for 10% and I, I mean it was 15, we'll say 15 bucks. Absolutely the cheapest meal and the pizza was delicious. I can't even begin to tell you how good it was and you can build it yourself. 
So it, you can choose your sauce, you can choose your uh, cheese, and then you can choose your one topping. I think we chose sausage as our topping. We wanted beef, but they don't uh, they don't do beef or they don't have beef. So I don't know why they don't have beef. That seems to be a strange one to leave out, but they had sausage, so we did that. Uh, it's delicious. Everyone should try Blaze Pizza. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, hoop de doo review. So, kind of like what I say with um, Ohana, for any sort of character or um, show, you're not going for the food. Uh, for Ohana, the food is what saved it because the character experience was so incredibly rushed. For Hoop de doo the food was terrible. Um, you're not going for the food because the food sucked like it was so very bad. Uh, it's anywhere from $64 to $72 and I don't honestly remember what I paid for it. Uh, the, the price range depends on where you're seated because there's balcony seats and then there's like right at the front of the stage seats. So the better your seats the more your ticket costs. Um, it's an all you can eat. They'll come and give you, they give you like big bail, pails of uh, chicken, ribs, mashed potatoes, um, cream corn, cornbread. Um, I have a, I have a picture of like my plate, but it's, it's cowboy food, I think is what they, home, it's like, it's just cowboy fare. Um, it was terrible. I, I think they call it barbecue food. Um, my parents own a barbecue restaurant. I'm spoiled when it comes to barbecue. That was not barbecue. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how terrible. I've heard such raves about how delicious the hoop de doo food is. And for them, it's probably good. Uh, they don't get it often or they don't, they haven't grown up on it, you know, whatever. But I only ate the potatoes and the cream corn because it's really hard to mess that stuff up. Uh, I had a chicken leg, which is dark meat, and it was dry. They had beans, like baked beans, which I don't know. Uh, they're, I'm used to it being like the sauce being a barbecue base, and they had a ketchup base. And I love ketchup, but not on my baked beans. Uh, I don't know what that was. So for the meal to be as expensive as it was, I could go all day and be like, never go to Hoop de Doo. But don't, like, go to Hoop de Doo. It was, it was wonderful. Like, that show was awesome. It was so very amazing. But be prepared because the food sucks. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Like, the food was terrible. Uh, the strawberry shortcake, which was for dessert, I thought the shortcake was dry. I didn't really like it. I needed more like strawberries and like the strawberry sauce to give the cake more moisture, but I didn't have enough to give it more moisture, so I only ate about half the cake. So my meal, I did not like, but I absolutely loved the show. I would go again to watch the show and just not eat because the show was hilarious. If you like funny puns and you know, silly acting and all of that. That show is for you. It's just, I thought the food was horrible. Uh, it upset my mom's stomach and made her sick for the rest of the evening. Like we're just, we're used to a certain type of barbecue and that was not it. So I, it's hard to, to give an opinion when you might go and you might think the food's delicious. So my opinion's mine and yours is yours. That's, you know, I can only somewhat prepare you that it might not be what you think it would be. So just be prepared. Um, let's see. Bon Voyage, The Adventure Breakfast, which is on Boardwalk. And it's the, uh, I'm sorry if I butcher this, the Trattoria Al Forno. That's the restaurant name. It was breakfast, like I said. So you meet Rapunzel, Flynn, Ariel, and Eric. And this is probably the best breakfast that we had. I, I think I liked that one the best. The food was delicious. 
the characters were awesome. Unlike uh, Ohana, it wasn't rushed at all. I didn't feel rushed at all. Um, we got there. Our server was amazing. He was hilarious. Uh, he apologized to us at the end and said that this this job was his pun outlet because he had a lot of punny jokes and we thought he was hilarious so it was okay for us. Um, it is $34 a person so it was comparable price to Ohana. Uh, you, We did get our 10% annual pass discount so it was comparable to Ohana. Uh, I had the tangled eggs with sausage. I have a picture of them. I'll put them up. Also got a complimentary um, like skillet of pastries and again like it wasn't rushed at all so our server came took our order brought the pastries uh, we had plenty of time to look over our menus and order and then we kind of sat there and kind of talked and joked around and then behind us uh, they would announce each person with kind of like I don't know like a background going you know something about how she's known for her adventures and you know such and such like that and give it up for Rapunzel and Rapunzel would walk down and she'd walk right past our table and then she'd wave and you know do twirls and whatever down the aisle and then she'd be set loose into the into the restaurant and then she'd start working her way around and then a few minutes later you know they'd give a, like a little intro and then you know here would come you know Flynn or whatever and he'd walk down and then they'd do a blurb for Ariel and she'd come out and then same for Prince Eric and everybody was out so we had uh, plenty of time to meet everybody and then I think I don't remember if we met everybody and then got our food I feel like we met everybody and then got our food but we had been sitting at the table for probably 10 minutes got to meet everybody they were at our table a couple like a minute or so and nice chat with everybody walked off had enough time to be like oh my god that just happened our server would come back and he'd be like is everything okay you know because he knew my best friend wanted to meet prince eric really bad and right before prince eric was coming to our table he was all like okay i'm gonna go find my smelling salts and he was like patting himself He's like, I'm gonna go find the smelling salts. And he like walked off. And then when Prince Eric came to the table, uh, had that amazing interaction. He did, he was wonderful. And then he left. As soon as he left the table, uh, our server came up on the other side and he was rubbing cause the, uh, the little um, skillets that they had, they were the cast iron skillets, like what Rapunzel carried around. He had two of the little skillets and he was rubbing the bottoms together like a defibrillator and my mom's a paramedic so it just killed it with us and he was like is everything okay here like rubbing them together and we just died we were laughing so hard and then he was like i'm just making sure everything's all right and then he just walked off and he like deadpanned it and just okay if everything's okay and then just off he went like he just disappeared and we're like that was amazing and then within a few minutes our food came up and then we had the rest of the time to sit and eat and then he checked on us every so often to like refill our drinks to ask if we wanted anything else I mean absolutely no rush it was super chill um, characters came back every so often to kind of walk by and smile at us and no big deal and then just kept going it was such a chill relaxed like experience it was nothing like Ohana and I mean if Ohana had been just like that Ohana would have been perfect but this one was perfect because it wasn't rushed the food was delicious and it was cheap it was $34 a person you can't like can't compare to that it was amazing so I 100% recommend the Bon Voyage breakfast Especially because you can meet Flynn and Eric and you can't meet them anywhere else. Um, I think you can only meet them at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Parties. And that, as of right now, that's the only other place that you can meet them other than the Bon Voyage Breakfast. 
Uh, the Liberty Inn, which is at Epcot at the American Pavilion, we didn't take pictures. Uh, it was just a normal um, kind of blah meal. Uh, we just needed to eat. Uh, I shared some chicken nuggets with fries with my mom. We didn't get any discounts or anything, and it was $10.49. It was just chicken nuggets and french fries. Hard to mess those up. Um, it was kind of standard fare, um, decent, so if you need something to eat and you're at the American Pavilion, chicken nuggets and french fries are, are tasty. At the Liberty Inn, decent. Um, not really much to say about those. Uh, we ate at the Rose and Crown, which is at the UK Pavilion at Epcot. Uh, I had the Welsh Pub Burger uh, for $21. And then I had the most amazing, like, cold brewed tea, which at the UK Pavilion, you can imagine the tea is going to be good. And that was $3.49. I got 10% off for my annual pass discount. And I know that there was a bunch of, like, weird stuff, like, Ware Rabbit or Welsh, I don't know. There was a bunch of, like, weird sauce and whatever on the burger. What I'm kind of a picky eater, like... I am and I'm not, I don't know. I was a little skeptical, but it was kind of the only burger on the menu because I don't eat fish. And um, the only other thing, it was like uh, like standard UK fare. Um, and I didn't, I'm not very adventurous with food. So the burger was kind of my only way to go. So I, I went with the Welsh uh, pub burger and it was delicious. I I have no idea what was on it, but it was amazing. I, I was so very surprised with how delicious it was. I would eat that again in a heartbeat. It was fantastic. Our server was amazing, uh, very talkative, very helpful. Um, he was uh, awesome. Uh, the accent that he had was wonderful. Uh, I could sit in there and just listen to all the servers talk hands down. It was it was an amazing thing. And then we went outside to watch Illuminations and I'm pretty sure he gave us like the best viewing table uh, there was out there. So that whole experience was awesome. So if you ever get a chance to go to the Rose and Crown take it because it's it's wonderful to eat there and if you're not very adventurous or you don't like fish and you know stuff like that then definitely hit the burger because it was delicious and not really all that expensive for for really a burger and it was it was like a it had a bunch of special stuff on it and it was amazing uh, I do have a picture of it that I'll put up uh, the Sasagula food court which is actually at the um, Port Orleans French Quarter so we walked um, over to French Quarter one morning to have breakfast because they have we had heard that they had a better food court than the Riverside which is where we stayed and we had I, I made a uh, create your own omelet which I have a picture of and our biggest one we wanted to try which if I pronounce it wrong the billets if that's how you pronounce it because that's what Louisiana are known for, right? Which I also have a picture of. And um, I didn't pay for those. We shared them. Um, so I don't know how much those were. But the omelet was $8.99. Uh, which, for as large as it was, um, that was well, um, well worth it. And you can create your own so you can put whatever it is that you want in it. And you get to watch them make it. It's right there. So... It was definitely delicious. If we would have thought about it before, we probably would have walked over there more than once. Uh, it was very, very good. Uh, there were no annual pass discounts uh, there. I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, the Sasagula food court at the French Quarter was very, very good. Um, the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater at Hollywood Studios um, I had the American burger with fries, which was $18, and then I had a cookie shake, which was $6. Uh, the annual pass was 10%. I have a picture that I'll put, you know, up somewhere. Um, the environment was awesome. You're sitting in, like, car booths, like you're at a drive-in, and then there's a really big screen that's 
like playing old school, you know, sci-fi movies. And they were really cheesy um, sci-fi, like only like a couple minutes long or something like cheesy videos. But, you know, things from the deep or aliens from outer space and they're, you know, whatever. But it's just a really big, you know, drive-in screen and then you're sitting in cars. It is super dark in there. It's hard to see what you're eating. The booths are kind of small because you're sitting in little cars and they have to be, you know, enough cars for a bunch of people. Um, the food actually wasn't that good. Um, the burger was kind of expensive for what it was. The burger wasn't that good. Uh, the best thing that I got was the cookie shake. And I mean, it was a milkshake and I would have been super sad if they messed that up. So I feel like I only ate like part of my burger because it was mediocre at best. The environment and the experience was pretty cool, but the food wasn't really that great. And so that's something that I definitely will never go back to. Uh, but it was neat to do it the one time. Um, I'm glad that we got the experience, but I'll never go back there. Really sorry this is taking so long. Uh, you're troopers if you're still with me. Uh, we did have a really long vacation and uh, we had to eat, so we did eat at several several places. I think I'm, I'm nearly to the end. I only have a few more places. Um, Via Napoli, uh, which is at the Italian Pavilion at Epcot. We meal shared between the three of us. Oh man, I'm gonna butcher this. The Capriciosa pizza? Sorry, I know that is not how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that there. And she told me I was, I was close, good try. I'm sorry, that's not, I butchered that. I tried. Uh, it was $41. And then, oh, I'm not gonna pronounce this right either. The Kappa Broody Mabui, or Booney? That was dessert. It was also tasty. Uh, it was $15, and we shared both of those uh, between three people. I have pictures of both of those. Uh, the pizza had like eggplant and artichoke and stuff that I normally would never get on a pizza, and it was delicious. I. I was shocked. It was so very good. Um, they had, I mean, this is authentic Italian pizza. It was amazing. So it made me feel like we were eating pretty healthy while having pizza because it was just all this really healthy stuff on top of the pizza. And it was light, it was fluffy, um, it was cooked well. I mean, it was wonderful. And then the dessert was like a, a gelato sundae um with cherries and chocolate and stuff which was absolutely delicious i've had like store-bought gelato that i didn't really like but this is you know again authentic gelato and it was amazing it was very flavorful and i i can see what's so big with gelato if it tastes like that all the time i don't know if we got a discount there because i couldn't find the uh receipt i assume we did but if we did, it's going to be a 10%. Most of the places that you eat um, at uh, or on property are going to be 10% for the annual discount. It says up to 20, but I don't think we got anything above 10% uh, for food. The Columbia Harbor House, uh, which is at Magic Kingdom, I shared with my mom and I got the chicken pot pie with green beans, which was 10.99. We got a side order of french fries that were 3.49. And then a side order that came off the kids menu with uh, mac and cheese, which was six fifty nine because that came with a drink. So the chicken pot pie came with a drink and then the mac and cheese came with a drink. So then we each had a drink. So that um, had an annual discount or annual pass discount of 10%. So we had quite a bit of food and that pot pie was amazing. The green beans were uh, like fresh green beans. So they were like string green beans. Uh, it also came with uh, apple slices. It was absolutely delicious. I would go back in a heartbeat. Uh, if you're ever going uh, to the Harbor House, the pot pie was wonderful. I would definitely get that again. Uh, I could go for it right now. Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. 
that's definitely something that is on my uh, go back to eat there list. Um, another go as often as you possibly can list is the Casey's Corner at Magic Kingdom. So my best friend loves the corn dog nuggets and she got those and my mom and I shared the chili cheese uh, foot long with fries. That's $12.49. Who doesn't love chili cheese dogs? Uh, I sure do. Like, I love those things. Uh, we didn't take a picture of those. Uh, we, it was one of those that we were starving and by the time that we were almost done with the chili cheese dog, it occurred to us that we hadn't taken a picture and then we were like, mm, dang, well, whatever. Casey's Corner is delicious. It doesn't matter what you get there, you're you're gonna hit gold there. I, it's delicious. Uh, whether it's the corn dog nuggets, the chili cheese dog, it's wonderful. Casey's Corner is delicious. Um, the chili cheese dog is wonderful. And it isn't some skinny hot dog, it's a, a huge hot dog. Like, it's more than filling. Yak and Yeti, which is at Animal Kingdom, uh, we had, we didn't take a picture because again, it didn't occur to us until uh, we had left that nobody took pictures. Um, I think I had to look at the menu and then had to guess because we didn't even remember what we ordered. I think we had the crispy honey chicken, which was $18.99, and then the Korean beef, which was $19.99. All three of us shared it, and then we had it's the annual pass again 10% um we like the food was okay but the service like our server was very neglectful um we needed refills on our drinks probably like before we even got our food and he never came back to check on us I uh, kind of dropped our food off and then left and then we were like oh refill okay so then we were drinking out of our water bottles instead and like trying to conserve what little bit of drink we had left and I think he finally came and refilled our drinks like midway through the meal and then we needed more refills like toward the end of the meal and then he was gone and then by the time he came back to give our checks he's like oh do you need a refill and we're like no you're too late so I mean he he didn't check on us hardly at all I mean we were there probably 45 minutes to an hour and he checked on us maybe three times um, if that, maybe only twice. I mean, he just, he was very, very neglectful. And the, it wasn't busy, like, hardly at all. The whole restaurant was very slow, so we're not really sure where he was. I wouldn't go back to Yak and Yeti because we just didn't have a very good experience there. Um, the food, like, the food wasn't amazing. It was mediocre at best. Like, it gave us protein, and that's what we needed, but it was, it wasn't the best food. And then with the neglectful service, that kind of just, I don't know, made it to be like, eh, we're not going back here, so whatever. Two different times, we had the Mickey pretzel. Can't go to Disney without having the pretzel. Uh, amazing. I could eat the pretzel probably every day, several times a day. I can't even begin to tell you how delicious that pretzel is. Um, it was like $5.69, I think. I didn't write it down, but it was, it's, it's less than six dollars. You get your annual pass on it too, ten percent. And come, it's a warm pretzel. Comes with warm dipping cheese. It is hands down probably the best snack. So if you need something just to get you, um, if you're not terribly hungry and don't really need lunch and you just need it to get you by for another couple hours before dinner, pretzel is the best thing to go. Uh, the very last one. So Cinderella's Royal Table, which of course is at Magic Kingdom in Cinderella's Castle. So, we couldn't meal share because it is a per person um, dining experience. I think it's $90 per person, but then you've got gratuity and all that, so it, it comes down to almost like 120 something dollars per person, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of harsh with this one. I mean, I've been kind of harsh with some of the other ones, but. I have pictures of everything, so um, if I mess this up, I'm sorry. I think I had the charcuterie charcuterie plate, which is like a meat and cheese tray. 
um, which wasn't to my taste. I didn't like it, uh, but it was really the only appetizer choice that sounded edible. The rest of them didn't sound, it sounded too fancy. Uh, so this one was kind of my only choice and it wasn't something that I'd eat again. Um, then I had the pan seared all natural chicken for my appetizer. It was okay, like the, the chicken was good. Um, I remember there being like a weird sauce that made some of the vegetables and stuff taste funny. So I ate around it. So I pretty much only really ate the chicken and whatever the sauce hadn't touched. So I really picked around um, to avoid the sauce because I don't remember uh, what it was, but I remember it not tasting very good. And then for dessert, I had the Clock Strikes 12, which was like a double chocolate uh, dessert. And I ended up reading later that apparently um, the Cinderella's Roller Table is like, I guess I'll call them famous for it. They're very well known. It's one of their famous, like very well known desserts. And it was very tasty. Um, if you're not a chocoholic, then it is going to be way too much chocolate for you. Uh, I love chocolate, so it was just fine for me. I It was probably the best thing I had the entire evening. Um, so what I'm going to be harsh about, uh, I've read several things, I've seen several things about how people dog on it because the food is terrible for the amount of money they pay for it. Yes, to an extent, like, the food was not good for we'll say $125, but no food's going to be worth $125, um, not even a little bit. Um, that food wouldn't be worth it if that's what you're banking it on, but it was a character experience, and really our character experience was kind of iffy anyway, uh, so we met Aurora, Snow White, um, Jasmine, and Ariel inside the restaurant, and then Cinderella's down um, beneath before you come up to the restaurant. So you meet, or in my case, we met five princesses. You can meet them anywhere in the parks. You didn't have to meet them at Cinderella's Royal Table. So maybe, you know, take the princesses out. Say you didn't meet anybody. You're eating in the castle. We ate at dinner time during Happily Ever After. So we ate while Happily Ever After was going off. And I mean, that alone was worth it. So to hear people complain about spending so much money for crappy food is kind of funny because you're eating in the castle at the time the fireworks are going off. That's worth it. You're eating, you're not there for the food, you're there for the experience. So even if you threw the, the princesses back in, you went to meet five princesses while eating at Cinderella Castle during the fireworks. That alone's worth $125, not even eating. Um, even for our experience, our server was terrible. Uh, she neglected us. Uh, we had to ask for some, like you get a wand and a wishing star or if you're boys, you get a sword and a wishing star. And she gave us uh, wands, but she forgot the wishing star. And my mom and I had no idea about the wishing star. My best friend did and had to ask for it. At one point, uh, she came up and she asked if we needed refills. So we said, yeah, that's fine, thank you. And rather than stop and wait to be reminded what we had, she just ran off and we're like, oh, okay, cool. She remembers what we were drinking which was strange because she hadn't been over at our table for quite a while, brings us all drinks. Um, we, I think all three of us had had tea uh, and my best friend started adding sugar to hers and suddenly had like a volcano making a huge mess on the table. And then to find out that she brought Coke to her and she added sugar to Coca-Cola, which made a huge mess so then we had to flag her down and be like, uh, can we get something to clean this up? Cause making a huge, huge mess here. She neglected us after that 
because suddenly I think she decided we were a trouble table when we hadn't done anything. She could have just been having an off night, who knows. I, you know, we were again trying to be polite about it because we just, it was our last night at Disney. We didn't want to make her night crappy or more crappy than it already was or whatever. So we were just, we were trying to be, you know, upbeat and whatever about it. Like Jasmine had that attitude and Ariel had that attitude. It was kind of just like, mm, don't want to be here. Uh, Snow White and Aurora seem to be pretty well like upbeat like eh, hey how are you no big deal Cinderella downstairs was super cool and those two were just like mm. so I mean it was just kind of the whole experience there was eh, like not great and then add on that it was a hundred and something dollars and then crummy food so not good food two of the characters were kind of iffy the service was bad um, it was just one of those like we didn't I don't know it just this the experience wasn't the best and then all we were doing in our minds we were just reminding ourselves we we're eating in the castle and we ate at the time the fireworks were going off and those two things made it worth it even though all the other bad stuff was going on to us eating in the castle at the time the fireworks were going off those were the two most important things and we did those. The fact the food wasn't good, the service wasn't good, and two of the characters didn't seem to want to be there, you know, that could have pulled everything down and, and been really upsetting. Uh, then we had issues with the bill later that they had to bring a manager out for, um, which again was kind of a server's problem. Um, the server messed the bill up and couldn't fix it and then had to bring the manager out. I did read somewhere that Cinderella's Royal Table is one of the busiest restaurants and that you have to go and reserve it the 180 days out or the 90 days out or whatever it is that you've got because almost never can you walk up and get reservations on the day that you want as a walk up because it is the busiest restaurant on the park location. And I believe that uh, for as busy it was, as it was in the evening. It's loud in there. Um, we didn't feel rushed, but it's, it's definitely loud. Uh, it's cramped. Um, but it was definitely worth doing the one time to say that we ate at Cinderella Castle. Um, so it's kind of what are your priorities. You can meet any of those princesses anywhere on the park property. So if you're going just to meet the princesses, that's not the reason to go. If you want to go to eat at the castle, then that's the reason to go. Um, just to meet the princesses, you can meet them all over the parks. So that's a figure the priority and then and then go from there. So uh, I'm sorry this was so long. I, uh, hopefully with the editing I can get it down to a more manageable level. And then uh, yeah, so if anyone has questions about any of the places that um, I ate, if you want more, maybe a little bit more in-depth um, explanation for why my opinions are the way they are, uh, I'd be happy to answer those. Um, I think I got everything. I don't, I researched pretty heavily on where I ate and prices and whatever for, um, for, for this one, so I Hopefully I didn't miss anything for what or where I went. And then yeah, so I think I got everything. So yeah, any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer. And uh, be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I think that's it. So I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.